So welcome back guys, Building 1313. It's actually the 27th episode, and I must say, this progress on this episode is pretty insane. So, remember last week, I actually did create like this corner section of above the garage where it's like light bluish gray with masonry bricks. I really didn't like the overall look of that, because to me it kind of looked more like a prison versus like actual apartment building, let's say. So I actually took the whole thing apart, reworked everything, and included some nice interior. I have a few cool easter eggs I actually included. I'm going to show you guys one of them right now. So this is actually a mock I created about, I'd say a year ago. It's the scene where Mando actually um, assassinates Imperial Officer when he's talking ill about the other troopers. I'll put a link in the description of that video. But this is probably my favorite one because it encapsulates the um, the Star Wars Episode 9 that we never actually got. So I remember seeing some concept art photos of General Hux like committing suicide with um, Kylo Ren's lightsaber. And I really want to create that mock. So he's actually kneeling down. There's gonna be like a little lightsaber hill going through his chest. And I also include the nice uh, table on the left, and as well as like this kind of weird right mechanical thing. And the reason why it's kind of blank on the other side, I was actually gonna incorporate like a little miniature Coruscant in the background, so it gives that overall force perspective look. So I'm actually really excited to incorporate this. So let's go see the overall rebuild section. So I've spent a few hours redesigning this overall section, and the newer ones on the left compared to the right, yeah, I wasn't really too satisfied by the overall look of the right side, how they're just kind of blank windows. So I made sure to incorporate a little bit more interior space, but I also include like this different building technique for windows I've done in the past in a different mock. Personally, I kind of prefer that style compared to this one. This one's very simple versus the other ones, a little bit more complex. All is just snot, studs on top, they're just bricks on their sides. And the nice thing about that, they're actually kind of modular in a way, because this panel actually copped up. So it's Obi-Wan Kenobi actually maybe at the doctor's office and C-3PO is checking up on him. Maybe C-3PO is doing like a psych evaluation on him, which kind of makes sense because when you think about Obi-Wan, he's always level-headed versus Anakin. He's always kind of unhinged all the time. So personally, he should be in this shrink's office right now, which I thought was a really funny detail to put in 1313. Because at first, I was going to include interior space on these, but I realized these windows are actually way too small to actually see anything. Versus this panel piece, you get to see like the whole interior view. To me, this kind of looks more like a prison, and not really a good representation of what I want to do in 1313. Well, this is pretty much to show you guys, if you really don't like something that you've made, it's okay to like redesign it in a way, because at a certain point I'll be stuck with this design, and I wasn't too happy with the overall look, and I thought it was way too blank. Which is okay to have blank sections, but this is mostly gonna like shock people, and this is just gonna be kinda looked over, and I really didn't want that in 1313. So let's go finish this thing off. is turning out excellent, I must say. So in the time lapse, you actually saw me incorporate more of the building itself. So I built this center section that like uses those uh, hinge plates. That's why I bought like 150 of them, because I wanted to make that huge curvature along the center stripe of the whole building. I also include some nice one by one cheese slopes on the side to make it more cohesive. And as well as I built it into the brick wall on the right side. And then what I did was I built the other window on the left side. And if you notice, there's actually a wire sticking out of it. The great thing about this, I'm actually going to be installing some LED lights. And I tested them. They look pretty incredible inside. 
the reason why this is sticking out all the way right here is because I'm gonna install the catwalk right there. And beneath that, there's gonna be some lights installed in that as well. Cause I thought it was a good idea to incorporate the lights right here because the endpoint is in this mock or this building right here. And then it flows along this line. It's gonna connect to the catwalk and as well as this, the strip club. So in one push of a button, I can light at least three or four buildings. I order a few more parts just to incorporate that other window te technique I put on the right side. But as soon as I order the parts, I'm gonna install that section to make it more flush. And then you go upwards, there's gonna be that catwalk right there. And then I'm gonna incorporate two of those more, two or three, probably two of these windows to the left side. So let's go see the interior. So this is what the overall interior looks like. I also installed this uh, other catwalk that's going to be incorporating that Daphmere tree right in the center. And once that's installed, uh, this section of the mock probably is going to be my favorite building. I didn't realize this, but those hinge bricks in the center give off this insanely interesting technique. Moving all the way down. I definitely didn't think about that when I ordered the parts, but that design for the interior looks pretty insane. So in the next episode, I would love to accomplish finishing off this whole section right here, as well as installing the catwalk and building that Daphne tree in the center. Let you guys see the interior, what it looks like with the lights off. Let me turn the lights on. It's super hard to sell on the camera, but in real life, it's a lot brighter than this, but I'm super happy with the overall style and look I went for. So it's pretty easy installation right now. All I did was get some two by two bricks and just place right over the wire to hold them in. I'm not actually done with that because I'm actually gonna incorporate some other um, translucent pieces to make sure it's like a different color than just kind of a white light. I'm thinking more of a maybe purple or something. And here's a quick little view of what the street's gonna look like with the lights installed. And of course they're kind of dangling right now, but it's just pretty much an example to show you guys that there's gonna be light emitting bottom of the catwalk and it's gonna look insane when it's all done. Now let's go off to another segment. So I'm actually a pretty big liar because I said that I wouldn't continue building this section till next episode, but the orders actually arrived and I got too antsy. So I really wanted to make this Daphne tree. And honestly, the renders don't do it justice, like have perfect connections. It's so satisfying while I'm doing this. There's actually one order left. So there's supposed to be a wedge plate on that little brick right there, but I'll install that later. But the overall design is very nice. I use a lot of slopes, wedge plates and stuff. The overall nice curvature of a tree. And then a ball joint to have this like little bit incline right here to have that curvature. And the cool thing about this centerpiece, it's at an angle. So I put it on a turntable. So it's a little bit easier to actually see the bottom details as well. Cause so I made sure to put details all over this tree, no matter what angle you look at it. I'm like super happy with this overall design too. And in the bottom of it right here, I use some one by one cheese slopes and as well as a bunch of slopes to make that overall kind of like cracked ground that Death Mirror currently has. Actually another order arrived from some aerial light customs. And I'm so happy because this allows me to get the twilight heads, especially for the strip club. Let's see those figures. Honestly, this is probably like the weirdest purchase I've ever made in my entire life. Lego strippers. But I must say the overall printing quality and curvature for like the waist hips look very good. And the mold's pretty cool because it actually comes in two pieces. Like the head wrap actually comes off. So you can either have like this no nice design on top or you can have it just plain head. I also bought some of this curly hair for this one uh, performer, let's say. I actually don't have the legs in the correct color for these two, and the arms for the red one, but I'll find them eventually. The very far left one is actually on a pole. So this is vaguely what it's going to look like when they're in the mock installed. I also did purchase some printed arms for the Imperials, and on this guy, he actually has some Imperial insignias printed on his shoulders. And I must say, that's insanely nice detail to put in 1313, especially with a cigarette in his mouth and a beard in his hand because it really shows that stormtroopers are people as well and these guys are actually looking straight across the street to go straight to the strip club so it kind of makes sense they're pretty messed up on alcohol might as well enjoy themselves honestly i couldn't be happier with the overall progress i finished in this episode like i finished that overall section over there reworked that finished this overall installation as well as built the overall landing platform for this like tree and the overall tree itself looks amazing. For the next episode, my goal is definitely to include the rest of the windows right here, kind of plate off the top, and as well as install all these lights going all around the tree. So let's go to the outro. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Building 1313. I had an insane amount of fun creating the 1313 so far. 
especially in that new bar section up there. It's really coming together very nicely. I would love to fix up the overall section of the uh, strip club, because uh, on the back section, it's very kind of bland and I don't really like that at all. So I actually took all of that apart and we'll be reworking that as well. Give more life and color and more detail. Well, that's everything I completed this week in 1313. Have a great day and see you next week.